Hey, what's up, everybody? And what's up, Sussex Squad? Y'all, if you guys don't know, we are all waited with bated breath for this royal announcement that was coming. The, has were, the flags were at half mass. Now they're back up. I know yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, but they had it in this morning. They literally called all the reporter royal reporters in, said, children, sit down. We have a huge announcement. Then they sent them home. The BBC changed their icon from black to red signifying everything is on high alert. Baby, Barack Obama even strolled in and we said, I don't know what's going on. Does somebody send um, Barack to find Kate? Because you know he could, right? Baby, everybody is was like, what is going on? All these hoax started coming up. The U There was a hoax that the UK embassy and Ukraine said Charles had passed. There were all these rumors starting up that Charles had passed. And that's why they were there. Baby, Charles came out. And did a couple of things. He has admitted that, first of all, Will and Kate basically shined the light on what Will and Kate's doing. Charles came out and said, baby, you better look at those other people and not me. Y'all, Charles has given the people what they need. He has given the people what they want. And baby, ain't no ain't no ain't maybes or buts, y'all. <laughs> Why did Charles just expose Will and Kate like this? First of all, let's roll cue because honestly, Charles and Camilla are two little demons, but they are funny demons in my opinion. Y'all, in the middle of all these concerns about Charles's health, what could be happening, all this stuff going on, Charles did what any sane, logical, normal person would do. He just showed up. He just showed up. An 80-year-old man who was fighting cancer his 74 or however old Camilla is, 70 something year old girlfriend who literally is frail. As much as we don't like Camilla, Camilla is frail. Mima actually needs her rest. She, like, she spent the last 75 years scheming. Let that woman kick her heels up, eat some apple wine and some oatmeal cream, some oatmeal cookies that were made. Y'all, listen. Anyway, back to what I was saying, right? So there's all this stuff going on. So what did Charles do? Charles posted a video of him literally walking like him, talking. Literally, he was like, that ain't them. I ain't them. They ain't me. Keep that mess over here. Charles has basically confirmed and admitted that this huge royal announcement that everybody's bracing for, everybody wondering what's going on, they keep calling the reporters in, sending them out, that that huge Royal announcement has to be about Kate, the woman nobody has seen, the woman nobody notices, the woman, I mean, up until a few weeks ago, nobody cared about. And I don't mean that to be mean, but somebody said the most interesting thing Kate has ever did was go missing. So let's let's break this down. First of all, let's look at Charles's hilarious walk. Letting him know, baby, these legs still work. Again, how can an 80-year-old suffering from cancer be out showing the public and assuring this monarchy because he knows that they're the reason for his $40 billion fortune? Giving, and who would have thought that Charles doing the bare minimum, which is showing your face, would shine a light on how badly Kate and William had muggled this up. Now, let me just say this, right? Because there has been this scene that's been circulating in the comments. You guys, thank you so much for re leading, co re leaving comments. I read all of them. But I do want to say this, right? Um, Charles and Camilla are diabolical. We all know this. I think it's also important to notice that we keep blaming Kate for being the royal racist, for being this, for being that. It's an alternate universe where William is actually the one that made comments about Archie's skin color. It's an alternate universe that everything that they blamed on Kate saying she was the one that put recollections may vary, that it was actually William. Now, I know what y'all saying. Oh, Kate said that. Or did she? Or did she? Because is sick Kate the one that alternately is sick? The other one can't. Is she the one that actually photoshop that image let's not forget that william actually lied about that mess that was going down with harry right so when you think about it okay 
was William the one that did not forge Harry's, I mean, forge Harry's signature? Was he not the one that even when the going gets up, he literally threw the mother of his children underneath the bus? We need to start asking these questions. A lot of reasons people don't like Kate, and I'm not defending Kate, right? Is because things we think she did. Just like a reason a lot of people in the UK didn't like Harry and Meghan is because of things they thought she did. But who was behind those lies? William. And who is behind now what's going on with uh, Kate? William. I don't know. I don't know. I do know that Kensington Palace is saying like, yo, um, uh, I do believe that Kensington Palace is like, yo, uh, help us. And Buckingham Palace is like, um, yeah, no, you are on your own. Let's also not talk about the fact that Rudolph Murdoch basically called out, called out uh, William and Kate. Again, I'm beginning to believe that Kate has no power in that marriage with William, because that's another thing. If Kate can't stop her husband from cheating and publicly humiliating and disrespecting her and treating her family like they're common crap and all this stuff, where do ever get the idea that Kate has so much power that she can like do things unilaterally. I don't believe that's true. I don't think the men in black or gray or whoever you call them would ever let the queen, the, the wife of the queen, the co I'm sorry, the co the commoner wife of the king, right? That's a tongue twister to actually have any say or to do anything outside of what being a breeder and what they tell them to do. Again, if we look at how much they've been exposed, we need to start asking how much of this was William when he knew he was about to be exposed, taking the flack, making Kate take the flack for him. Again, I'm not saying that Kate's not horrible. I'm not saying that, man, I'm not saying none of it is true. I'm just saying that at this point that we know what stupid liars they are, we need to really start questioning everything. And all things toxic seem to come and flow from William. Also, here's the thing, right? Uh, there is a Murdoch uh, hack. Her name is Daniela Esler. She says, proof Kate Middleton and William have lost it. This is in the Murdoch paper. They said the crisis engulfing the Prince and Princess of Wales has dramatically changed the game for the embattled couple, leaving them with nowhere to go. Zandy Sussex on Twitter said, shamelessly, Murdoch hacked Daniela Esler casually admits they all know William and Kate are in the business of propagandizing. In other words, lying. But what's different this time is that they have just been exposed for actually doing the deed. Again, most people can't believe how much they were exposed. And then they kept on doing it. They kept on lying. They somehow think that they can put the genie back into the bag and it is not going at all on top of that with this going William because I don't think Kate is around I really honestly don't the kids aren't in school they're saying they quietly pushed it back to saying we're not going to see Kate till May but then Kate was withdrawn from all the trooping of the color um activities via the BBC, there was actually a special presentation that she was supposed to do for the BBC. And it was what she was withdrawn from all that. Kate was making a big deal. She was looking forward to it. The fact that they said that she would not be attending, that means that they just keep kicking the ball down the, the, the street because there is no strategy and they're hoping that nobody notices or things will quiet down. But how, when this is the most exciting thing happening in 2024, honestly, now I do want to say this, right? After Charles went out and did a walkabout, I do know that as much, and this is just something that popped in my head and I want to know what you guys think, right? Alter alternate universe, right? Let's just say there's not anything seriously wrong with Kate, as the pals keep saying. Let's just say that this was Kate and William's plan to, you know, it's like faking sick from going to school and ending up in the emergency room, right? Because your mom like freaks out when the thermometer is 140 degrees. But let's just say that there's an alternate theory going around that Kate is faking, that there was really nothing going on and that her and William devised this scheme in order to get out of doing work for the first half of the year. And because William is not close to Charles, um, because he, 
I don't think he's close to Camilla. He doesn't care if they go out and die while they're working because that's good for him. Because if they get sick from working too much and they can't work, then he becomes the, he takes over the monarchy, right? But even if you believe that thing and Charles coming out and said, why do I say that? Because Charles coming out and showing himself, it could just mean he's like, oh, don't put that over on me. But it could also mean when people say, how come Megan isn't speaking out to help Kate and all this other stuff and defend her? How come Charles and Camilla aren't either? It's almost like if you believe those rumors that they're looking going, mm -mm, I don't know. These They're looking going, I don't know. These people are idiots. So what do we have? We have at best, William and Kate are being playing hooky. And when they come back to work, they will be completely destroyed by the press because, no. It's funny how when they talk about William and Kate being half, in, like uh, Meghan and Harry couldn't be half in, half out. William and Kate truly believe they have a half in, half out life. In meaning they have all the benefits of their position and money. Out meaning they don't have to work at all. They don't even have to show up. They can lie. They can tease. They can abandon again. I truly believe there's something very, very wrong with Kate. But listening to Twitter, even if you believe the dumbest of derangers saying there's nothing wrong with Kate and she's resting peacefully, then why did she let all this start? Why the lies? Why the fake images? Why is all this stuff? I'll tell you why. It looks like we're going to find out very, very soon. Whenever the palace gets the balls to make that announcement, don't forget they keep sending everybody back and forth, back and forth. I don't know, you guys. Something big is coming. Let me know what you think in the comments. Heavy upload day if I haven't said it. Talk to y'all later. Bye.